fine. If you really want to talk, I can dial it down. I've also got a gun, by the way. <laughs> she steps reluctantly out of the shadows. The pain lessens. You and me the both. she's carrying is a two-barreled front loader, not like the murder weapon. Hmm, yeah. thanks. Well, it doesn't feel much better, but you can form sentences now. Thinking doesn't seem to hurt as much. The same goes for the visuals. So it's not mm, uh, okay. radiating out in waves as much, rather the... Um, <coughs> it, it's still radi out, radiating out in waves, but it's just changing the colors and not so much, uh, like almost vibrating the ground. Okay. Just keep her talking and you'll get through this. Oh boy. There's a red check I'm seeing. Yeah. Pain threshold, medium, mm. huh. and destroy the machine. That's what we want to do. Um, we're already at 72%. But, but we might get more. Yeah. Uh, we can say, how did you know we were coming? Number two, did you shoot Billy? Uh huh. And then the red check. And lastly, I can't take it anymore. Just go. Uh -huh. Don't attempt to destroy the compressor. Number one, how did you know we were coming? I heard you in the passages. And I've been preparing for quite a while. Yeah, I can imagine because we've been preparing for quite a while. Yeah, as and well. we're <laughs> sort of slow, and you know, when we approach, we first like yeah. rummage through all the dumpsters and stuff. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, set yeah. A, set a yeah, raccoon or set a police officer. Completely <laughs> reasonable what she's saying. <laughs> so I guess next option. Yeah. Also, we we came, we almost got to her, and then we left. For yeah, two that's days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's give her some more time. Yeah. Um, we can say so. She, she said. Uh, I heard you in the passages. I've been preparing for quite a while, and we can reply with by hiding bullets on the floorboards. Ah. Or we can say, okay, then I have other questions. No, that's good, the bullet. So you found my shack, huh? I'm not surprised. Her tone is bitter. She thinks she's been betrayed. Oh, by the woman, I guess. Yeah. Uh, we can say, she didn't rat you out, by the way. Isabel, the washerwoman. That's good, because she actually didn't. Yeah. Uh, also, option number two, preparing for the worst. Option number three, you are desperate, aren't you? And number four, you don't need that. Number one. So nice. That's one knife I didn't want to find in my back. She smiles a little smile. All right. So, preparing for the worst. Mm. You're desperate, aren't you? Or you don't need that. Mm, what's a good thing to say here? <coughs> Well, she feels like prey. She feels like prey, yes. So, so give her an out. You don't need that. Yeah. Yeah. Not anymore, no. This could have turned out pretty bad for me if you hadn't walked right into 25 bands of ultra-high frequencies. <laughs> we'll see about that. That's her admitting the bullet was an emergency exit. That's true. It was dark mm -hmm. in the shack. The waves outside had calmed down. She looked at the loaded gun, then she cracked the barrel open and took the bullet out. Not today. Inland Empire. I feel like we hadn't had yeah. uh, successes from yeah. Inland Empire for a while. Good to hear from you, old friend. Mm -hmm. Also, that was a challenging success. But yeah. we got a 15 because we were amazing. Yeah. Uh, and then, did you shoot Lally? That's the question. Mm -hmm. Ask. No, I didn't do it. I huh. only helped stage the lynching, though I doubt that makes much of a difference to you. So she says she didn't do it, and she doesn't trust you. Is it you specifically, or the citizens' militia that she distrusts? Why does everyone say they didn't shoot him? Can't there be <laughs> anyone who just says, yes, yes, I did it, and here's how. Yeah. Just give me yeah. your handcuffs, I'll Man. put them on myself. <laughs> Throw me a bone sometimes, game. <laughs> No, no. Because the problem is when she said just now, I believed her as well. Yeah, uh, yeah. Fuck off. Is it the sniper thing? It has to be the sniper thing. But we can't find that last sniper spot. Oh, God, game. Oh, it was Classy after all. Oh, and Classy is playing us. Yeah. How this why is this so hard? There's still that damn shivers check with Classy. I want to do that one time. That yeah, but we have no time. Anyway, yeah. let's go on. Who ratted me out, by the way? Was it Titus? No, he wouldn't have broken first. 
she hesitates. Uh, What's the truth, actually? I get, nobody read it out, right? We uh, just put things together. I don't know. We we spent like 15 episodes running between <laughs> Tarski and Titus, and yeah. I, I've, at some point, I, I don't remember. But, but we always confronted them with undeniable evidence. Yeah, that's true. Anyway. Uh, so we can say, oh, okay, every option is classy. Uh, we can say, number one, your friend Klaas here really threw you to the wolves, said you shot Lella. Mm -hmm. Number two, you're right, Klaas was the first to share her suspicions. Mm -hmm. And number three, when I threatened to arrest her, Klaas broke. She told me everything. Mm -hmm. The last one. Mm. Yeah, okay. I, I, I mean, which is true. Yeah, that's true, but I, I wonder if... Um, I feel like we can... Uh, you want to leverage her anger against Klaus here, or do you want to keep her hopes up? I was thinking exactly. the hopes up version, though mm -hmm. I'm not too sure my reasoning is sound. Yeah, here's the thing. When we say we threaten to arrest Klaus here, it doesn't paint a very good picture of us, right? Well, but threatening is weak. Or how do you mean a bad picture? Because she likes Klaus here and we are mean to Klaus here. Yeah, and also we want to convince her that we are n not hunting her. And uh, the trust thing, the game talked about trust. I want yeah. her to trust us, mm -hmm. and I th thought the best way to do that is by saying the truth. Yeah, the, yeah, okay. And I think that's the most truthy option. That's true. So I vote for it. Yeah, and at least maybe we can pull out another knife out of her back. Sure. So when I threatened <laughs> to rest her, classy broke. She told me everything. Yes. Oh, well, I guess I always knew she was a survivor above all else. She smiled sadly. But she couldn't have known I was on the coast. How did you find me? Uh, Here's our monologue of <laughs> where we show how smart we are. Yeah, so first of all, <laughs> we talked to these two guys that are really into crypto. And then we went to the racist truck driver. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we had to check on our phasma traps. <laughs> yeah, anyway, that was. Tuesday yeah. and then Wednesday. Came oh, <laughs> look, it's 1 a.m. I have to go to sleep now. Yeah, talk to you later. Can you put this thing in standby? <laughs> uh, so, we can say number one, your first guess wasn't entirely off. What was her first what guess? That's a very hard game. Uh, yeah. Okay, next one. Um, number two, your own boys told us you were on the coast. And mm. number three, Titus told me. It took some convincing. Did he actually? I don't remember. But um, the, the game, all the options are basically saying Titus did it, right? Uh, yeah, and I'm, I'm pretty sure that we got the information that she's somewhere on the coast from Titus. Yeah. Or the boys. Just um, not where, because they didn't know. I guess the convincing option. Uh, Titus told me it took some convincing. Yeah. Same as the classy option, basically. Sort of, yeah. He had no choice. Let's at least be consistent. Yep. Oh, fuck took some convincing my ass. And those guys liked me, I know it. But this is what happens to people whom people like. A dull despair is creeping into her voice. How the fuck do the rest of you get by? What does she mean? Get by? What? Yeah, how the fuck do the rest of you get by? Oh, Just like you, m humanity yeah, okay, and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. She feels like a victim. She <coughs> feels isolated. Mm -hmm. uh, she is pretty cornered. Yeah. Uh, we can say, number one, wait. Wasn't it you who called me the human can opener? It's not personal. I open them up. <laughs> number two, I do it by asking questions. And I have some for you. <laughs> number three, honestly, I don't know how I do it. I just stumbled in here. Can you uh, please explain this shit to me? I mean, that could happen in some <laughs> game, right? <laughs> yeah, Which would be hilarious. That's a hilarious yeah. playthrough. Uh -huh. we'll do the wait option. I did, didn't I? Now you've come for me. <laughs> Fuck them all the same. That did make her forgive them. A little. Okay. We're working on it. Yeah, we're very good. That's why they did it. And we so still have the other two Ask options. questions. Yeah, I do it by asking questions. And I have some for you. Yeah. Like what? I already told you I didn't do it. She adjusts her grip on her gun. A strong moral compass. She still wants the opportunity to make a case for herself. Mm. Okay, now we have some questions. All right. Uh, number one. 
Would you say that Lelai was a likable person? Number two, do you have an alibi for when Lelai was shot? Okay. Number three, you have a gun. Number four, you like classy a lot. Mm -hmm. Number five, do you like to hang out on rooftops? Mm -hmm. Number six, you're running drugs for the union. Mm -hmm. I've been through you a lot, a lot of you. All right. And the, the last option. Okay, let's take a step back and conclude. Right. All right. Let's do this. Actual police work time. <laughs> yes. This is the fruit of all of our labors. Here we go. Take it from the top, Vincent. Would you say that Lela was a likable person? I didn't like him. Hardened mercenaries aren't particularly likable types. And we have number one, you don't feel sympathy for Mercs. It's hard work. Number two, there's nothing more personal that you had against him. Perhaps his way with women. Number it, three, yeah. did you feel protective of the union? And then the conclude option number four, I have other quotes. Number two. There's nothing more personal that you had against him. You think I was envious of his conquests? <clears throat> Look, pussy's not a problem for me, and definitely not a reason to off someone. See her confident gaze, her toned arms. Yeah, she wouldn't have had much trouble in the intimacy department. Hmm, that's electrochemistry. Sure. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, other options. Uh, you don't feel sympathy for Mercs? It's hard work. Or did you mm. feel protective of the union? Ah. Uh, you have to choose one well of those two? No, we can ask both, I assume. But where do you want to start? But there's no leave option. Well, uh, let's no, start with the union. There is a conclude option. Yeah, do the union. Push. Okay. Yeah, sure. And I didn't like wild pines sending in those foreign hirelings. Me and a fuck ton of other people around here. She didn't hate him, okay? And sympathy. All right. And then sympathy. Do you, do you feel sympathy for Mux? Oh, you don't feel sympathy for Mux. Plenty of broken people who don't come with that kind of body count. Besides, they're paid well for what they do. Okay, and then we conclude All by right. saying I have other questions. Mm -hmm. I'm listening. So, next one. Uh, do you have an alibi mm -hmm. for when Lelai was shot? Man, I was with the boys the whole night. I hope they at least bothered to impress that upon you. Yeah, here's the thing. We did some math and looked <coughs> at some footprints, <laughs> and Kim said something smart about it, so mm -hmm. that can't be true. Yeah, and uh, we can say, number one, there were ten minutes they couldn't account for. Number two, they did say you left to take a really long leak, 15 minutes. Mm. Number three, there was half an hour missing. You went out. I, I don't know the actual I time span. Don't either. This, uh, Damn it. Why do we have to make this choice? <coughs> I think the l mentioning the leak is the best thing, right? So let's, let's pick that one. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and I'm sure they also made <coughs> some funny remarks about it. They always do. I've driven a lot of long haul and chugged a lot of beer, man. <sighs> Can't do either without some power of mind over bladder. And anyway, that wouldn't have been enough time. And um, we can say number one, hold on. No one takes a 15 minute leak. Or number two, our investigation, and we wince from the pain, has shown that 15 minutes was just enough time to commit the murder. Mm-hmm. Do we hold on? Look, fuck you, man. I might also have stopped by the bar. Yeah, okay. And then the other option. Yeah. Wow. Now I'm curious. Please, explain. And we can ask number one. Play pinball much? <laughs> Uh, number two, look. Cue the who with pinball wizard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, number two, look, there's a, a secret way from the first floor of the dwelling to the roof. And then, okay, then I have other questions for you. No, play pin pinball much is much cooler. Mm -hmm. I agree. No, not since I was 14 and hanging out in the only diner in Dardun. Haven't been into low risk, no reward games since moving to the city. Why? I can say number one. There are some mysterious pinball machines in some pretty mysterious rooms in the dwelling. Or number two. Never mind the pinball, then. There's a secret way from the whirling bar to the roof. 
do number one. Yeah, and probably some ghosts from the time of the suzerain. I'm not really interested in supernatural mysteries. Okay, but she sort of admitted that she knows that place, right? Did she? Well, she just sort of acknowledged it by saying, yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, from the time of suzerain, yeah. And I mean, it was like behind that closed door and stuff. It was hard to get access. Well, yeah, okay, but she said, yeah, and probably some ghosts from the time of Susan. Yeah, probably I, is it's uh, not such a hard acknowledgement. Yeah, I yeah. agree. agree. <coughs> so what's next? Uh, we can say, number one, wait, and we wince from the pain again. What kinds of mysteries interest you then? <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> yes, please. <laughs> uh, number two, what about elevators? Do you like elevators? <laughs> and number three, okay, never mind mysteries. There's a secret way from the to do number one, because that's what Harry does. We're, we're really good at keeping her talking. Yeah. Not murder mysteries either, if that's what you're thinking. She looks you in the eye, impassively, making it clear that she's not planning to comment on the matter any further. Okay. Hmm. At least uh, we can still say, what about elevators? Or, okay, never mind, mysteries. What about elevators? The fuck do elevators have to do with anything? Okay, maybe she didn't know that area. Yeah, maybe not. Uh, so we ask, what about elevators? Do you like elevators? And now we say, do you or don't you? Not particularly. And we can ask, why not? <laughs> or number two, not even, and we grab our head, quaint old rickety ones? Yeah, that one. I'm not really into old shit for old shit's sake. God damn it! We are drawing this out. Yeah. We but a skill told us to. Exactly. Kim, trust us. We know what we're doing. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, we, we can say, uh, look, there's a secret way from the ground floor of whirling to the roof. Or we can say, okay, then I have other questions for you. Yeah, number one. Don't know it, but also... She frowns, stu studying your face. The shot couldn't have come from <coughs> the roof or we would have all heard it downstairs. She has a point there. No one mentioned. The pain stops from, from finishing the sentence. Uh, are silencers not a thing in this game? In I this world? Guess not. And I guess we also failed some sort of hidden check where we would have figured that out? Well, I don't, maybe, I don't know. But yeah, good point. But also, um, well, does the game... I think you can use a pillow and it actually silences quite a lot. I don't think so. But no, you, I, I'm uh, positively sure. I saw a thing about this once. Sure. Uh, but then again, weapons... Viewers, please words. comment if that's true and prove me right. Or uh, wrong. Please prove him wrong. Yeah, we can, we can sort this out. Yes. But it's not relevant for this, so what, what are the options? Just need a gun and a few pillows. I mean, with a pillow, o what I heard is that it will muffle the shot to the point where it sounds like someone in the house is slamming a door okay right so yeah. sure you still hear something but it's like muffled and sort of changed so that it can be ignored i mean even with an actual silencer guns are still pretty fucking loud yeah, but i don't know with a silencer i mean in counter strike it would always be pew. yeah that's not how it works <laughs> no no like oh please tell us then mr gun expert well <laughs> i'm no gun expert but Basically, as far as I know, what a silencer does is bring it just below hurting your ears permanently. So it's also like slamming a door or something. Yeah, but it's like 110 decibels. Well, I don't know the decibel stuff. I can't even figure out loops. We do have this no. problem every yeah. time we do something. Anyway, let's, let's, uh, let's solve this case. <laughs> the case of the gun and the pillow. Yeah. Anyway, uh, the pain stops him from finishing the sentence. Okay. That didn't go super well. You've got to lay something better on her. Sure, we've got plenty. Yeah. Uh, well, the next option is, you have a gun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, go for it. And? Uh, we can say, number one, where did you get it? Number two, I see it's a front loader. Do you have another gun somewhere? Number three, I can't quite tell what kind of gun is it. Is it? Could you hand it to me? <laughs> yeah. To inspect. Uh, number four, do you collect guns? Maybe old rifles? Mm. And then number five. And we wince 
and say, there's other evidence I want to ask you okay. about. We could probably take all the options. So number mm -hmm. one, where did you get it? The gun store. What gun store? Trigger Happy Jacks. Okay. And we can say, really? Trigger? <laughs> it's an option number two. That doesn't sound like the name of a real store. Do number one. What did you think? That I'm going to squeal on my gun supplier? Sorry, I'm not that kind of gal. Okay. You're being investigated for murder. <laughs> but okay. Maybe she's not a snitch. Yeah, I guess not. Uh, uh, next option is, I see it's a front loader. Do you have another gun somewhere? Sure don't. A breech loader? No. This is such a white man. <laughs> uh, next option, I can't quite tell what kind of gun is it. A knocked away 80 front loader. Two barreled. Not really what you were looking for, I'm guessing. That isn't it. Yeah. And then the last option. Do you collect guns? Maybe old rifles? No, they're not practical. Break too often. A doubt creeps over you. She sounds so sure of everything. Yeah. So not guilty. Yeah. A doubt does creep over me, and it sucks. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And... We conclude by saying there's other evidence yes. I want to ask. Let's you try about. the next one. Yeah, evidence. Uh, next option is you like Classia a lot. I considered her a good friend, yeah. And we can say number one, are you a girl liker? <laughs> number two, is peeping one of your hobbies? Mm -hmm. Number three, but you wanted to be more than just friends. And the conclusion option, there are other things I ask about. Yeah, ask her if she's a lesbian. In a weird euphemistic what way. What the hell, man? Yeah, why not? I've gotten worse. Okay. Is peeping one of your hobbies? Mm -hmm. Wow. Pissing, pinball, and now peeping. I'm just not following your insinuations, detective. <laughs> uh, we can say, number one, there's a hole in the wall. You can see into Classier's room. I wouldn't blame you if you've... Option number two. Classier said you may have used the people in her wall to spy on her. And number three. Mm. It's just the hole in Classier's wall is pretty suspicious. Um, no, number one. If I want to stare at a pretty girl, I can pick one up at a bar. Or, worst case scenario, look at a naughty photo. Who has time to go skulking about the whirling, drilling holes in walls? Yeah, point. Well, no, I'm not so convinced about this. I mean, if you have an obsession with a person. Yeah. Um, and we can say, number one, last year looked like a girl in one of your posters. She seems to be your type. Or number two, so you haven't been watching Classy through a hole in a wall? Yeah, make her be very concrete. Number two. Nope. Look, she has an effect on people. That je ne sais quoi that makes it impossible not to look at her when she walks into the room and very difficult to look away. But travel enough and you realize for the same reason that she's everyone's type as an object of desire, she's not irreplaceable. Hmm. Very interesting point. Yeah. And she replaced her with a poster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. What's next? Uh, but you wanted to be more than just friends. Oh, so that's where you were going with this. She said you wanted to run away with her. Well, that's a very sentimental way of putting it. We both had pasts we didn't want to catch up with us. And we enjoyed listening to music together. Why not go on a road trip? The lieutenant watches her expectantly, occasionally shaking from the pain. Okay, fine. I was into her. Clausy was into me too for a time, I know it. We even fooled around once. And yeah, after that I thought maybe we could make a go of it. And we can say, number one, hold on. Clausy only likes truly buff men. <laughs> or we can just ask, then what happened? Then what happened? Not the hold on option. 
Oh, this was all. Oh, sorry, I missed the hold on. Yeah, I didn't take that. Thank you, Vincent, for paying attention. Oh, I would have been at first. I just she think the point is not. Them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, she said she doesn't. She does know how to pick him. Yeah. Okay. And then we ask, then what happened? Yeah. She rejected me with some wishy-washy bullshit about how she was confused because she felt so close to me and valued my friendship so much and how guilty she felt for leading me on. Yeah, that is wishy-washy. Yeah. I empathize with her. I knew that wasn't her. the whole story, mm -hmm. but thought, fine, I'll take it and move on. No ill will there. It wasn't a problem for her. Crap. Every sign is pointing to not yeah. guilty. God damn. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Then we have to get her on our side. Maybe she can help find the actual murderer. But like we have to go through all the steps here. Do, do we know another reason why she's hiding here? If she's, is Except is running from us? Yes, yeah, just because she thought um, that we would suspect her of murder? Because she was involved with the hanging? Um, I don't know. I, um, drug stuff could be another reason. Maybe that mafia is... Mm. looking for her I don't know okay. it's not something yeah. we would have heard about but it's um, conceivable yeah hmm. let's go on class you said you got very angry when she started seeing that they threatened her yeah she did say that yeah one time when we'd both been drinking I said some heated things about how dangerous her patterns with men were I was a little worried to blow it out of proportion in her head all the drugs she was doing can make you feel like you're living in a DeLorean tragedy. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, Dolores Day. Yeah. Uh, okay. And the last option. And despite everything, you helped her by staging the lynching? Yeah. Yeah. The girl seemed terrified. The Merc was beyond caring what happened to his mortal coil. It was a no-brainer. Okay. okay. And then we conclude by saying, mm -hmm. there are other things I ask about. Yes. So this is a weird way of saying it. There are other things I ask about. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's spoken <laughs> like a DeLorean <laughs> actor, <laughs> sir. Yeah, that's yeah. not the part you're supposed to read. I think it's a little <laughs> mistake you spotted there, Vincent. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> Go ahead. It's your body. <laughs> Yeah, I get the point. Yeah, Kim, you're doing fine. But we haven't been losing health, so whatever. Yeah. And mine too, he thinks. But keep on. Yeah. This must be done. Yeah, it, it's r it's right. Mm -hmm. uh, do you like to hang out on rooftops? Yes. Who doesn't? Oh, you probably mean Claudia's rooftop. <laughs> sure, I've hung out there. She's got this great antenna. Okay. Uh, we can ask. Is that the only reason you hung out on the roof or number two what's so great about her antenna and up to number three so you're sure you didn't shoot the merc from the roof and we move on number one also i wonder can we use that antenna to yeah i thought the same thing <coughs> the, the yeah, honestly well, the antenna can you can you talk about that a little bit yeah. is it compatible <laughs> like do we need this adapter yeah what kind of way yeah. does it work with <laughs> yeah we'll get to that start with number one mm -hmm. The view's pretty bomb, too. But you might say the antenna was the main attraction there, yeah. Along with Claudia. What's so great about her antenna? It's very powerful. I used it to tune into RCM frequencies. That's how I knew to be prepared for your arrival. Hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Okay. Sharp one. Uh, so, you're sure you didn't shoot the Merc from the roof? Yeah. Yes, I'm sure. And anyway, as I said before, the shot had to have come from afar. Okay. Yeah, I guess. What, what was her point, though? Oh, because of the sound. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, <coughs> that is a valid point. Mm -hmm. And then the last option, before the conclude option, you're running drugs for the Union. Oh, yeah. I've been through your lorry. Yeah. So, heart of gold Tommy fucked me over too. Never trust a musician. It's actually not true. Nope. I hope we can to say that. Yeah. That really comes as a blow to her. Yeah. And we can say, no, he didn't. 
I found my own way in. Or, yeah. yeah, I made him talk as we lie. No, number one. I really like that every time she thinks someone stepped her in the back, mm-hmm. and say, no, we are just very, very good at our job. It's her victim attitude. Yeah. No, I didn't. I found my own way in. Okay, great. You got into my lorry on your own. What now? You're going to arrest me for drug trafficking? Well, no, if we could do that, we would have done that already for another (laughs) thing. But, yeah, what else? Beneath it, she's relieved Tommy didn't betray her. Yeah. Uh, We can say number one. You're a criminal. I can't trust anything you say. Or Hmm. you had a financial incentive to kill the milk. And then move on. Yeah, move on. Man, it's to get away from all that murderous shit that I left Jamrock. My previous employer for the union. The lieutenant is unable to articulate his question. Mm. She deliberately avoided naming the mob she worked for. Yeah. You might be able to find this out later. Well, we've heard the name, and it's I, that would be a pretty good guess, I think. The name? I don't remember the name of the mob. There was only one mob that named the racist guy talked about them. We intimidated him by pretending to be part of that oh, mob. Oh, right, right, right. But I forget the name. Yeah, I mean It was a good name. Mm-hmm. Um, when you said mob, my first... Uh, the first thing I remember uh-huh. was class here talking about some weird ice cream maker or something. I also felt a little like mob, mm-hmm. but not really. Mob? Okay. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, okay. I got lucky being a dispatcher. Never had to do any of the really dirty work myself. This gun has only been used for self-defense against serious scum. She turns the knob down just a millimeter. There. It's going to be easier to reach the machine now. Yes. Oh, nice. That's a bonus. And we can say, but you're threatening us with it, or I wish I could use my gun right now. Number one. Based on what I've heard about you, you are serious scum. She responds, holding your gaze. She has a point. Yeah. I mean, we, we've been trying. Yeah. But we had rough times. There's a sinister note in her voice. Even with the gun and the compressor, she's afraid of you. Mm-hmm. And then we say, okay, let's take a step back and we conclude. Okay. Yeah? Where? More. More questions before doing anything. Yeah, I'd like to. I look at the check. Plus one. Nudged it du- during drug talk. Mm-hmm. And we're at 83%. Okay. But are there more questions? Oh, yeah. Uh, we can ask, who killed the Merc, if it wasn't you? Yeah. What happened Sunday night? Tell me your vi- version. Uh-huh. And if you didn't kill him, why hide? Okay. Yeah, go on. Take from the top. Who killed the Merc, if it wasn't you? How should I know? <coughs> As I keep saying... He already had a bullet in his head when I got to him, and there hasn't been any useful gossip over the radio. Those rings around her eyes, her tired voice. She's been staying up late, listening in on the conversations crisscrossing Martinez. Police radio? You've been following the case? Who hasn't? You know, I can still see him there, in Claus's room, lying on his side. He was still warm, but the bluish light coming through the broken window made him look as though he'd been dead for a good long while. Hmm. Clausia didn't want to turn the lamp on. She was afraid of another shot. Hmm. Okay. And what happened Sunday night? Tell me your version. Yeah. Or version. She eyes you warily, as though gauging your sincerity. She's refusing to adopt the demeanor of a cornered animal, a leader with no one to lead. She still wants to retain some control of the situation. <laughs> it's okay. We just want to... Uh, uh. He struggles to finish the sentence. All right, don't kill yourself over it. I was shooting the shit with Hardy and the boys over a few beers, like always. Then Klasia comes in, all pale and shuddering. She sits down with a drink, trying to steady her nerves. So I grab a seat next to her. Uh, and we can ask, wait, 
Did she also seem high to you? Option number two. Class, you said you knew something was wrong immediately. And the last option. And what did you say? What did she say? Mm, number two first. There's a wait option. Oh, is it? Yeah, wait. Did she also seem high to yeah, you? Yeah, I missed the wait. I just thought it's like, um, let's ask her something open and not imply already details. But, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, with I wait, I, I am would convinced. I would agree with your yeah, yeah. work of police. Uh, <laughs> but the wait drop, but overrules everything. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Super. <coughs> but I didn't think too much of it at first. I'd seen her party hard before. This woman has seen people OD. Classia wasn't quite there yet. Mm. Okay. And then option number two, what did she say? Yeah. Well, okay. And what did she say? She asked me to come upstairs. The merc she'd been going with was lying on the bedroom floor, dead. I knew she couldn't get the authorities involved, so yeah. You made it look like he'd been hanged. I can say number one, class you said you seem to have a plan prepared when you got there. Mm -hmm. Or number two, class you found it weird you came up with a plan so quickly no number one what no faking a lynching was her idea huh. she looks shaken she wasn't surprised to be ratted out but framed hmm. her idea yeah in cold blood it really surprised me how quickly she was able to get a hold of herself once we got up there it was like she was another person the party girl was gone. <sighs> Crap, these girls are blaming each other. <laughs> yeah. What do we do? God mm. damn it. Mm. Have to go on. Get more info. Yeah. The longer she's talking, the more I wonder if this is like some grand conspiracy. Yeah. Like if, if Class has been hired as an actor. Yeah. Mm. To, to cause a uh, union riot so then the exactly. wild plants can move in. Yeah. Damn you, Joyce. She asked me to help her drag him into the shower so she could wind the shower head around his neck to fake lividity. Then she dressed him while I went to get the Hardy Boys. Classia knew exactly what she was doing. You can't remain calm under pressure otherwise. Yeah. Hmm. Number one, shower head. Resourceful. Number yeah, two. did we investigate her bathroom? Yeah, but not after talking to her. Yeah, okay. Only prior. That's true. And the only thing interesting there, I think, was the huge amount of drugs. Yeah, and now we could look at the shower head, though. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if there's even one left. Yeah. Uh, number two, that's bad. That she'd be so calm. Or number three, I don't believe you. Eh, uh, that's bad. That's bad. That she'd be so calm. Well, there's no other option. Uh, the other one is showerhead, resourceful. Oh, that one. Sorry. Somehow I'm distracted. <laughs> oh, good. It's the white noise. It's I guess so. Right? I mean... Yeah. Oh, I'm wincing from the pain, Vincent. Yeah. That we are even able to still talk. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't sure whether to admire her or be disturbed. Do you think she killed Lily herself? As I keep telling you cops, we didn't hear anything downstairs. No gunshot, nothing. But even if this is true, weren't you worried the lynching might lead to... War? The thought crossed my mind. But the mercenary's death was going to have repercussions either way. Although the way things are going... Eh, fuck it. I'm not responsible for these people after what they did to me. Her grip on the gun is tight. Her arms turned. Her posture solid. Martinez lost a valuable defender. <laughs> yeah, she's a tough cookie. Yeah. Uh, back to the red check menu and no bonus to it. All right. But um, there's more questions. There is one left. If okay. You didn't kill him. Why hide? Mm -hmm. I saw you roll into town. I wasn't about to stick around for questioning by a goddamn La Puta Madre agent. That was the name, right? That not that the mob? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. La Puta Madre. Mm -hmm. That strange, distant fear is getting close now. It's a fear of yourself. 
Oh, are we a Luputa Madre agent? Mm. Is that our dark past? Possibly. I don't think so. What? Harry was a good cop. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Tell me he was a good <laughs> cop. Yeah. Well, yeah, maybe. I don't know. I mean, he was good at doing police work. Yeah, but maybe that was fake. I don't know. Yeah, or, or he had like a, a phase in his 20s where he used to work for the mob and now he's trying to like work a lot as a cop to yeah. make up for it. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, so what do you mean, Laputa Martin agent? Mm -hmm. Yes, you. Everyone says you're his peon, his human can opener. She looks at you quizzically. Through the sudden sharp pain in your head, you hear the lieutenant mumble something to himself. Hmm. And we lost another HP. Oh, fuck. Fucking hell. And why me? You hear through the white noise. Huh. It's especially bad suddenly. Felt like a vein exploded. Oh. Well. Oh, boy. Uh, we can ask... Who's everyone? How do you know this? Or, bullshit, you're trying to uh, we wince grotesquely. Throw me off. No one says that. Uh, which one do you want? Bullshit? I, hmm. I like the first option. <sighs> it just feels a little less compromised, honestly. The first know. option. Yeah. Yeah. Let's take it. Everyone in Jamrock. The cops, the criminals. Why do you think I'm holed up in here with a goddamn death ray waiting for you? If she knows that about you, she must know your real name too. Yeah, okay, we found that out. I don't think that would be super hard. I mean, Everett knew it as well. He's part of the union. She could get it from him. Yeah. But okay, what are the options? But maybe he found it out after she left. Sure. Uh, we can ask number one. Tell me, what's my name? If you know that about me you must know my name or oh, number two fuck you yeah. i'm a laputa madre agent <laughs> you better let me go no oh, number three laputa madre i've heard of laputa madre he's dangerous right i kind of like that one or do you want to ask about the name i want to ask about the okay name don't do that skill thing i i assume it's mm-hmm for a character that hasn't found out his own name. But well, uh, or you can only ask it if you have found it, because that's no. the only way you can verify Maybe, what yeah. she says. Harry Dubois. One corrupt motherfucker with a disco pants and a funny tie. Agent to la puta madre. Did someone mention a <laughs> fucked up tie? Here we I go. Call bullshit. You're too crazy to be corrupt. <laughs> That's a good point, yeah. Ty. <laughs> Thanks. I'm glad we're wearing you. Uh-huh. I agree. So she knows your name. That doesn't mean you're on the take. Criminals make up bogeyman stories about cops all the time. I don't know. Sounds pretty convincing to me. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? Uh, so that was first Volition and then Half-Light. Okay, yeah. Makes sense. Okay. So? so uh, fuck yeah, I'm a La Puta Madre agent. No. You better let me go. Or La Puta Madre. I've heard of La Puta that Madre. That one. He's dangerous, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Is that a joke or a threat? I'm guessing both. Number one. No, there was a real question. Number two. I'm sorry. I know I'm supposed to know all about <laughs> this, but I've lost my memory recently. Sorry, cop. Yeah, or number three. Yes, of course. Are you scared yet? No, do the I'm sorry option. Yeah, sure. <laughs> she doesn't believe you. Oh. I'm sure La Buda Madre himself will explain it all to you soon enough. And we can ask, what did you do to this Madre anyway? Or That's a good question. Okay, other questions. Do the... Do we ask, yeah. Mm -hmm. You've been to my lorry. You think the biggest player in Jamrock appreciates competition? I knew it. And now I have Harry can opener in my lair. <laughs> Fucking Titus. I thought we had an agreement, she thinks. This was not supposed to happen. She's not going to change her mind that easily. She still perceives you as a threat. Yeah, this is a problem because mm -hmm. I, I'm pretty convinced her theory is wrong. I think the necktie is absolutely right. Harry's too crazy to be corrupt. Yeah. But she... That makes sense in her worldview, 
that we are sent by the Puta Madre to shut down her drug operation. Mm -hmm. I think if we convince we can convince her that that's not the case, we've got a real leg in the door then. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. So how can we do that? Mm -hmm. What's next? Wait, one thing. <laughs> Possibly small, but she said you rolled into town. Was that you singular or plural? <laughs> She might know something. Huh. Another person? Oh, uh, when I came into town, was there anyone with me? Uh-huh. And we can also ask, do you know about the bunker next door? Oh, my God. Which I I've been waiting since episode four or something. Fuck your bunker. Yeah. I mean, we tried to open it. Didn't work. Yeah. But you have to ask the number one first. Mm-hmm. When I came into town, was there anyone with me? Yeah, you had your death squad with you. Oh. What happened to them anyway? That's a very good question. Yeah. Um, and we can say, I don't know what happened to them, or who was in this squad? Ask that. Well, it wasn't this scrawny dude. <laughs> you had two guys and a lady. The guys looked pretty buff. Lady wasn't bad either. Oh, we came with the mercenaries. Huh. That's exactly the group of people that, that um, uh, what's her name? The, the CEO lady. Uh, Joyce. Yeah, that Joyce described. Yeah, but... It must be them. It yeah, must be, we came in with the bad guys. Absolutely. I Did we come here to assassinate? Did we, are we the killer? But we came earlier. Uh, we ca we then came the death squad? later. No, 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 no. Not, uh, the idea was that there were four more mercenaries in town for a while. Yeah. And then one of them got killed and then we showed up. I don't remember the actual specific details. Was it that or was it... I mean, it would make sense. Right? Why would Lolly show up alone? And then, and then he gets killed and three other people show up to take vengeance? That's, yeah. that's a version that could exist, right? But I think you're correct that they... But... <laughs> I'm confused. Yeah, also but it does it does sort of fit neatly, right? Yeah, also if um if it's actually Joyce that's been pulling the strings and this is a conspiracy, yeah. then it would make sense that she tells us, "Oh yeah, you've lost your mind. I'm just going to tell you, yeah, of course, there were always four mercenaries and right. Yeah. That might not be correct information mm -hmm. from her. Um also um uh Ruby might be making wrong assumptions. We may have all arrived together, but it may not be the case that we were actually related. She may have assumed that incorrectly. Oh, yeah. That they because she feels like a victim all the time and is threatened. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. I maybe think that, that's a real possibility. Maybe we've been actually a good police officer and just <sighs> phoned wild pints before to um, get the mercenaries to talk to them or something. Yeah, I don't know. It, uh, I'm confused, Vincent. Yeah. Uh, so, let's uh, see what she can tell us. Uh, we can ask, what else can you tell me? Or, that's all, thank you. What else can you tell me? One of the guys seemed chipper, a blonde. The other had a brooding something or other about him. And the woman, the woman was the only one in uniform. All were carrying. I think this checks out with um, the description that Joyce gave of these people. I remember talking about a charismatic dude, I think. Maybe I'm imagining a things. Blonde, then a brooding, and the woman in uniform. Yeah, I think Joyce said she was the only one who like identified herself by her um, rank or whatever. Mm -hmm. I mean, we could check the video to right. see, but I think it we checks out pretty well. Yeah, we also know that one of them, or we are, we are pretty sure that one of them is the guy in front of the gate of the harbor, right? Uh, that's a very uh, high percentage suspicion, I would say. Yeah. Yeah, and that. Hmm. I mean, he didn't seem to interact with us specifically in any no, way. No, no. But, yeah, but mm. it's not confirmed. I don't yeah. know. I, don't I was wondering also, did, was she talking about the, you know, police woman and police guy who showed up who were sarcastic and awkward with us? Yeah. But I don't think so. No. I just don't. They are not, neither of them is buff in any way. Yeah, and they're just, you know, RCM officers. Yeah. Uh, okay. Continue. That sound about right? No idea who these people are, literally. 
Satellite officer Vitmer looks out of the window grimly, then puts his coffee down and turns to patrol officer Miller. We could either take a room here in the Whirling or go home for today. Let's go home, Jean. Nothing's going to happen today, she responds quietly. Jean takes his blonde wig off. Call Heidelstam. He can give us a ride. What the fuck? I guess this is back to go going back to way back. Uh, where people were, we have visions of people going through our apartment. Do you uh, remember? That may have been these guys. Yeah. Huh. Are they La Putra Madre agents? Corrupt cops? Maybe. Are, were we an undercover agent who was trying to uncover their corruption? I just, there are mm. so many possibilities. We need to find out more. Yeah, but, uh, I really want to. Uh, I mean, undercover agent is an option, but I wonder if how, how much the RCM actually investigates, how much resources they have. Would they even send another cover agent anywhere? Actually, no, we know that Kim was. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the juvenile delinquency yeah. department. Yeah, that was a an undercover job. Hmm. Well, we, can, we can't decide now. It's just it's all just theories. Yeah. Let's focus on the task at hand. So we can say, number one, I think I know them. They're in Martinez. And number two, yeah, that's right. I was just testing you. They're right outside with guns. <laughs> or number three, no, that doesn't ring any bells. I think number three is the honest option, right? I mean, the skill said so. And then we got some vague hints. That was all, right? Uh, well... Logic said we don't know who these people are, and Esprit de Corps said Satellite Officer Vic Omar yeah. takes off his blonde wig and Patrol Officer Mino. And I think that... Uh, but it's so vague, it's not... Th it's just mentioning names and people. Yeah, but I think these are the two in the Whirling and Rags. Yeah, but is she referring to them? No, that's not... No, th he didn't have a blonde wig or blonde hair, right? don't remember I don't think it's referring to those this is all so confusing um, yeah. I want to tell her I don't know who they are because that's all I don't know who they are <laughs> okay okay that's fair so no it doesn't ring any bells well this has been a great talk really but I think I'm going to hit the road now really how where are you going <laughs> yeah uh, your lorry is not going anywhere uh, and then we can ask, do you know about the bunker next door? Yeah. What bunker? Oh. The one with the red check. No. What? Um, first option is the communist hideout back there. Oh, that one. Okay. Sure. Or we can also ask, just a bunker. Have you been there? <laughs> so let's ask about the communist there, yeah, hideout. Yeah, okay. so Don't know anything about it. No one's been around since I set up camp. But I'm sure I'm not the first vagabond to... Her voice trails off into white noise in your head. It feels like an aneurysm approaching. Oh, God. We're down to two health. Oh, okay. Plenty. Keep calm. Breathe in. After the pain recedes, it's a little clearer. Okay. There's a red check left. That's or we all can right. Just uh, let her go. Well, Vincent, uh, thanks for playing. <laughs> Here's the thing. J that just now gave us a momentary window of clarity and another plus one. So, 92% chance. Yeah, you mean, but it's a good cliffhanger to end the episode, is my point, Vincent. Okay. Right? Yeah. So... <laughs> you bastard. Thanks for watching. I want to know. Um, me too. Uh, and if you want to know, then tune in next time where we press the red button and we maybe shut down the pale pain device, latitude compressor. Um, you can leave some comments, tell us about gun stuff. Uh, <laughs> you can uh, subscribe to the channel and follow us on Twitter, at makes underscore play. Any last words, Vincent? <laughs> Yeah, tell us, or tell Mario how wrong he is about this weird gun and pillow thing. Bye. Bye. <laughs>